Uh, shall we do uh, the good lie? Is that all right? Is that really absolutely fine. And you're in okay. charge. So this is a, a, a very heartfelt account of uh, children fleeing the civil war in southern Sudan who trek, you know, hundreds and hundreds of miles in order to get to the Kakuma refugee camp. And we then see them growing and arriving in America 13 years later as displaced adults. So the opening section is, you know, uh, very powerful, sort of triumph of adversity, you know, you, children, I mean, young people involved in the most extraordinary circumstances against these backgrounds, which are beautiful, but imposing with danger at their back all the time. Then when it moves to the American section, it becomes a slightly more something that you may recognize as a kind of culture clash comedy, uh, not comedy, but, you know, that kind of comedy of errors when people are like fish out of water, although it's very serious matter. And the story is that when they arrive here, Reese Witherspoon, who is actually the, the poster, uh, is, you know, basically a big poster of Reese Witherspoon, is the employment agent who is trying to find, um, you know, work for them. They, however, are not willing to fit in with this strange and wasteful society which throws away food which is only one day past its sell-by date and imagines that all the things that they consider to be important are not important. Here's a clip. I'm sorry if I bring you dishonor, but I cannot do a job I believe in my heart is wrong. You don't bring me dishonor personally, but this company did vouch for you, and it is a big deal. Let me explain something to you. In America, we have this thing called bosses and they have too much power for their teeny tiny brains, but you have to put up with it because you need money to live and to eat and to go to school. So I'm gonna try and get you more job interviews. It's not gonna be easy. I have faith, Yardi. Yardi? This is a special name for you. For me? Yes, it had great cultural significance. What does it mean? It means great white cow. Okay. Well, it's better than a lot of things I've been called. So that kind of illustrates what I mean about, you know, the, the culture clash stuff that you know now. As far as the poster is concerned, Reese Witherspoon is the star, but absolutely the stars of this film are Arnold O'Cheng, uh, Gerdueni, and Emmanuel Jarl, who play the three uh, central characters in their uh, adult life. And it is largely due to the, the great strength of their performance that what this doesn't become is just some kind of, you know, slightly mushy Hollywood film about uh, displaced victims. In fact, quite the opposite. We do see the world through their eyes. It's not to do with seeing them as the others. It is to do with seeing the world through their eyes and understanding their perception of what's happening to them. And actually, I think it's a great credit to the film, that considering the, the difficult sort of terrain that we're on here, because that is, you know, this, this sort of fish out of water stuff is very, very familiar and is something which Hollywood has, you know, worked and overworked time and time again, that actually, as a result of those performances, it doesn't fall into those traps. I mean, I think it was a difficult film to get made because I think it's, you know, it, 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 it's a fairly hard sell and you can understand why it is that, you know, Reese Witherspoon is a star and therefore has, you know, star power. That's why you would put her, you know, the, the face forward on, on, on the advertising. But absolutely, it is that central cast of these uh, three young men who are each one of them sort of finding their own way. And we are seeing the world through their eyes as opposed to the other way around, which I think is the film's great strength. It's not perfect. I mean, there is an argument, I think, that the first section is perhaps stronger than the second section. But those performances, as I said, are Arnold Cheng, uh, Gedueni and Emmanuel Jal are really terrific. And re I mean, really, really the, the centre of the film and provide you with, you know, the point of view and the eyes through which you see the unfolding action.